in that model. CP, very much an east-west railroad, a little bit of triangulation there with the upper prairie states and so on and so forth. Comes to CSX, starts making the changes, painful changes for the shipping community. I was there. But the results started coming. Yeah. And it was very much, you know, the, the spider web of CSX. And if you look at their, uh, the X in their system, you know, if you draw an X in their system where the midpoint is, it's going to be in that, you know, Nashville, Tennessee, within a couple hundred miles of Nashville, where they're going to see a lot of, you know, if, if one domino falls, it re you know, all of a sudden different dominoes fall. And Memphis seemed, or I'm sorry, Nashville seemed to be that linchpin. Once they started making improvements, once we started seeing some resolution in that national market, and then, you know, everyone else started taking notice that, hey, this can work not just on an east-west railroad, not just on a north-south railroad. Sure. That makes sense. We Thank need to you. pay attention so, so, to this. Yeah, that's super helpful. Thanks. Okay. So, so just another question there. You said this is what the street wants, and, and obviously the street collectively can be intelligent, but that doesn't mean the street is always right. So is there, either in your own experience or in other – other opinion is there areas where people might say precision railroading worked great for hunter harris in that instance but it's not the right thing to do for the industry or there here are issues that are going to arise because of precision railroading um i think in in fact, in, in one of the trade publications, and it was in the last 12 months or so, one of the other executives uh, outside of CSX, one of the class one executives, made the comment, well, you know, we were practicing precision railroading before it became in vogue. I right. think there was some yeah, hesitancy no. there to acknowledge what Hunter had started at CSX. And, you know, once the momentum came, you know, the momentum started picking up speed. Everybody realized, okay, we need to get on this bandwagon. Yeah. But it's not that some people are saying this is is the wrong approach to how to run the business. They're just saying this is not new. Correct. Okay. That's I don't think anyone point. would stick their neck out and say this is the wrong approach. We do it better. I mean, you know, what, what upside is there, if I'm an executive in any organization, what upside is there for even vocalizing that? None. Yeah. No, no, that makes sense. So, okay, so let, let's say this is going on. Do you have a sense for what that's going to mean for short-line operators particularly? So, And, and let's, let's assume, so precision railroading is essentially – saying let's rationalize and streamline to really focus on long haul. So what what I have heard is there tends to be divestiture or movement of activities from long haul to short haul when that happens. And so I guess what would be the implications for short line operators? And then thinking about in that Memphis market, if, if anyone's divesting, who is likely to divest? What are they likely to divest? And and who are the likely buyers? or acquires when that goes to market. Again, only thinking your your opinion, nothing privileged, confidential, non-public, et cetera. Okay. Um, as far as the impact on the short lines themselves, um, keep, keep in mind that, that the short lines, even the larger ones, and the large one might be, a couple hundred miles. They're already practicing precision railroading. You know, they get that car in interchange or those rail cars. They are on the clock. And it behooves that short line to get them placed at the shipper or the receiver as fast as possible to do their own individual transportation service plans by customer on their rail line. Because what they want to do is get those cars back to that class one and off of their per diem clock, just as fast as possible. You know, while those rail cars are sitting on your short line, you're paying an hourly rate for those. 